My name is Daniel Fritchie, and I'm here with Tyler Spain to tell you about our analysis of the ergonomics of common firearms and offer a suggestion for their redesign. Tyler and I are both are avid hunters, and firearms are the tools of the trade when it comes to hunting. So naturally, we want them to be the best they can be. Guns have been built with the same basic design for well over five centuries, so an analysis of their ergonomics could be beneficial. This is not just a civilian affair. The military still use some basic guns like these. Military personnel and professional sportsmen could reap great, great benefits from an improvement in the ergonomics of these firearms. For this analysis, we shot two different types of guns. One was a 270 caliber rifle, and the other was a 12 gauge shotgun. We wanted to see if some ergonomics were universal amongst firearms. We found three different issues related with these guns that we will discuss. The following clip will show you the issue of recoil when shooting a rifle. Recoil is a major issue with firearms. It is a major cause of discomfort in the shoulder, especially with the repetitive shots. This issue also affects a shooter's accuracy, particularly when shooting a gun consecutive times at a target. The next issues encountered were deviation and extension of the wrists. As will be shown in the next clip, the foremost wrist experiences extension when a shooter is attempting to support the firearm. The shooting hand experiences ulnar deviation as the shooter tries to fit his hand to the trigger and stock. Scope eye is a common issue that arises from the use of rifles mounted with, with scopes. As a result of the recoil and a shooter being too close to the scope, the shooter can be hit by it. Anyone who has experienced this can tell you that it is no fun. We were too scared to do this ourselves, so we will learn from the mistake of this guy in the following clip. What happened? This hit me. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I hit so, you in the face. Yeah, I was too close to it. I feel okay, but... <laughs> Plot twist. He was definitely not okay. Friend, uh, the dude from the house. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah he got punched in the eye. Our first redesign suggestion addresses ulnar deviation. First, we recommend incorporating a pistol grip next to the trigger housing so that the shooter can have a more natural trigger pull motion without excessive wrist contortion. The picture below gives an example of what this pistol grip might look like. We also recommend attaching a foregrip under the bottom side of the barrel so that the shooter's front hand can support the weight of the gun without subjecting the wrist to extension. Our second redesign solution deals with the issue of recoil. First, we suggest attaching a rubber recoil pad to the butt of the gun. A half to one inch thick rubber pad would help absorb some of the kick of the gun, delivering less of a blow to the shooter's shoulder. This feature is becoming more common with newer guns, but is still not widely used. Second, attaching a muzzle brake to the end of the barrel would help reduce the gun's recoil by diverting the explosive gases in the barrel to the sides of the gun. The image on the left shows what a recoil pad might look like, while the image on the right shows a muzzle brake attached to a rifle barrel. This clip shows the necessity of this redesign to eliminate some of the recoil, so that the shooter can be more accurate. Finally, we have two suggestions for how to reduce a shooter's risk of scope eye. First, covering the outer rim of the scope with a rubber pad would remove the sharp edges near the shooter's face. This would reduce a shooter's likelihood of busting their head open if they got hit with the scope. We also suggest fixing the rifle scope to a sliding mount rather than a fixed mount. This would allow the scope to stay in place while the rest of the gun recoils. The image below shows an example of a sliding scope mounted to the top of a rifle. Based on our analysis and recommendations, the image shown here represents what we believe to be the ideal rifle. It incorporates a shock pad, pistol grip, a foregrip, a muzzle brake, and a sliding scope mount, all features that will improve the gun's ergonomic value. We good? All right. All ready? Let's do it. I like my jeans real nice and skinny, and I like my v-necks and my tanks to hang a little loose. I like growing out my hair 
Wearing my grandpa's hats with a nice pair of cowboy boots I ain't no hipster I ain't no redneck By any means